In, ow, ow, in. This is penetration of life. What? Woof. Yo, welcome to the Just By Ike, uh, Bike um, channel. I am the nigga with the cloud-like consistency on top of the dome piece. Uh, Jerome's knees. Jerome's knees, young pastry. No, I'm not Jerome's knees, but I'm young pastry. And this is watermelon versus them niggas. I'm just kidding. Pumpkin. Watermelon versus pumpkin podcast. You niggas are now listening to. You see that stamp of approval? Mm. Do you see it? Did you got to put, put it closer for them? I don't put get a pump on. Pump, 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 pump pumpkin up. Uh, Pumpkin up if you came to get it on, on call it, put it in front of your lawn. 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 Put it on the lawn. <laughs> Niggas that know that song know about that stretch. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, we here, man, in the front seat, in the back seats. None other to the left of thee. You know who it is. I am your, no, not your, his uh, co-host, I, Lil Mattress, L-I-L-M-A-T-T-R-E-S-S on everything. Uh, Spell it correctly. Drop these bars over here, man. Welcome to the Watermelon vs. Pumpkin mm. Podcast, episode 45. When I come back like Jordan, yeah, we're going to say that a whole lot today. <laughs> um, episode 45, man, if you're watching us on YouTube, you see the face, you see the dome piece, R.I.P. to Jerome's niece, Word. and that really quick, mm. hit up GBIClothing.com to get your rest in peace Jerome's niece t-shirt she didn't get enough love mm. man she didn't get enough love get a pair of them socks to match nigga. listen Jerome's Woo. niece was shot mm. in the dome piece mm. On the way home from Jones Beach, oh, so and we have the R.I.P. T-shirt to mm. um, you know celebrate her motherfucking life. Mm. Uh, mm. GBIClothing.com. Mm -hmm. But yeah, in the meanwhile, episode forty-five. Um, tell a friend to tell a friend. Mm. Like, share, mm. subscribe. So everybody out in Japan, Kanichi Wa. You know what it wa, is. My niggas, my niggas. Bow on I, them one time with. I threw a niggas in there. Konnichiwa, Wa, niggas. Respect. Mm, mm, um, mm. Yeah, man, hit this hotline, 203-594-6977. Call or text. Let us know how you feel, if you want to chime in, if you need a shout-out, if you want uh, some attention, man. If you want to talk that or, shit, if or, you want to... Um, birth control. <laughs> if you need birth control, man, we'll send you to the nearest, you know, Planned Parenthood. I we might can... send you a pack of condoms in the mail. You, you never know, nigga. This is what we do. It can happen. Pumpkin-flavored condoms. I don't even know if they exist. They have to. Come they, on. They have to. It's I, the season. I think it's time to also, uh, when we dive into, at some point, elaborate on this uh, pumpkin fandom. <laughs> pumpkin fandom is real. Yeah, it's 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 out there. It's Pump over, life. It's, it's an overcoming, overtaking situation. And uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know how I feel. Mm. Oh, little I macho feel. man there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how I yeah, feel. I don't know about how it. I feel. They want to come in. They want to jump off the rope, son. They want to give me a stick of cheese. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think a macho man. There. Shout out to one of the best fucking roles ever. With a nigga, just you know, just his character was the shit. He lived man. it. Yeah, he, he did. was in it. Like man. I felt like he took shits that way. He cooked that way. Mm -hmm. Like he, 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 that was his making love voice. Oh yeah, you want me to put it around the back of you? <laughs> <laughs> he was just intense, man. That, that's what everybody said about him. He was just super intense. Like, it's not a, like, uh, shock that he died from a heart attack. You know right, what I mean? You're like, right. well, yeah, the stress. That, the that's nigga. how Macho Man died. He had a heart attack <laughs> while driving and oh, hit shit. a tree. Well, you so, know, everybody's going to chalk it up for steroids. It's, it's, yeah. It's steroids! <laughs> probably, though, man. Yeah. They probably had a little something to do with it. That mm -hmm. and uh, the cocaine, the use in the 80s was, you know, <laughs> rampant. I think Royce the 5'9 had a song called... Cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Just love that part of the song, anyways. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, man, real quick, like, mm. share, subscribe. Uh, you know that we are everywhere that you have your podcast at. Mm. We are also there. So uh, mm. give a follow if you can, man, because uh, we see on the downloads, man. As soon as I upload it, boom, we get a couple downloads. So all that means is that we got a couple people subscribed. Hey. So we appreciate hey. that. And uh, let people know. Be like, man, there's this white guy, there's this black guy, and they're friends, and it's never happened before. Listen to their podcast. Right, and they do things, and they've got a number that I'm scared to call. You should call, nigga. <laughs> you should call or text, because I know people are afraid to use their voice nowadays. Right. Text, uh, hit us on that text or to call 203-594-6977. All the links are down below, man, if you want to sign up to get some free stocks. You want to sign up to drive mm. with Uber or Uber Eats. I don't like people. I do the Uber Eats, man. I'm right. delivering these food to these people. <laughs> and occasionally, uh, something that's nice that happens with Uber Eats is um, people... I, I do it late night. You know, mm. I'm a late night on the creep. Late night. And um, so, for instance, last night around 2.45... 
you know, pull up to the house. I got uh, 30 pieces of nuggets. I got nuts. drinks. I got fries. I got all that. You show up. You hit them with the text. I have arrived. Mm, you give them door. the phone call. Mm. Nobody picks up. You hit that counter, counting down five minutes, and you're just standing on the porch out in West Haven at 3 <laughs> o'clock in the morning, hoping nobody hits, lets the blicky fly, take a shit and cry, right. and uh, you're just waiting. Looking wait, for a wait. pigeon's eye. Just so wait. five minute counts down. Uh, time expires. You hit okay, boom, we good. You get to keep the food, which you're supposed to discard. Them. Discard it. They don't. They don't. They don't advertise you eating the shit. But what the fuck? They get food. But it, yeah. It, but I do understand their part on it too. You know. Some shit. Yeah. Oh, you got sick. You got you're trying to sue now. Because yep. it does it. say like and now you can dispose of the food however you want to. You know. Some, right. Sometimes disposing is put it in the gullet. Listen. Sometimes disposing is dropping it in somebody's like, mailbox. I mean, we made that attempt with the uh, Indian food that night. It was it was a hit or miss on a couple of. I forgot. Yeah, the yeah. Shit that we actually liked, but and it wasn't even Indian. It was like fusion. You're right. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Some of it was good. Some of it was bad. And um, I'm not Indian. Food, a lot of man. times you end up with you know food that you don't want. Mm. Um, a lot of times you end up with food that you do want, but it's a good right. thing. But also when I end up with too much food that I don't want, I enjoy putting it in people's mailboxes. I enjoy <laughs> dropping on people's cars. I enjoy spreading the youth, almost like the Pied Piper of uh, McDonald's food. Right. So last night, I mean... I, uh, it's on Instagram, man. If you go to uh, the Little Mattress on Instagram, L I L M A T T R V S S, you can see the video of, uh, you know, and I like to drop bars with it, man. Mm. So drop it in somebody's mailbox, drop a couple of bars. Listen, they wake up in the morning with a 20 piece <laughs> and two packets of barbecue sauce. So, right. I mean, we all win. That's with, what I'm with, some, with some hidden bars that you didn't even know existed until you stumble across it online. Guys, go look it up. Exactly. So if you're the culprit, if you're listening, hopefully you might be the one to be like, yo, somebody put a 20 piece in my mailbox, nigga. Go look at the video. It's probably this nigga. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If you wake up with free McDonald's food and you don't know where yeah. it came from, I'm not saying it was me, but I'm saying it was me. <laughs> I'm just saying. You ever heard of dreams coming true? Mm. Yeah. Well, hello. You're welcome. <laughs> Dream again. I mean, I'm pretty sure I had a dream. At one point, I would wake up in the morning and go to the mailbox and find a treat <laughs> that was edible. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Nigga left me a Big Mac in this bitch. Mm -hmm. Unscathed and untouched. <laughs> Got the sticker still on the fucking box, nigga? It ain't been, been, it ain't been punctured or broken seal? I'm going in. Exactly. Like, is the seal tight? Is the seal tight? Oh. So you like, got to be worried I about it. Because I've been hit with this. And, I, and and unfortunately, I didn't get to reap the benefits in the morning. See, because I had a drive-by late night, but an Uber discard, man. Uh, <laughs> and I saw the video, and I'm laughing. And I hit him up. Like, oh, shit, you just put some, put some food on a nigga car? That shit funny as shit. It was a, yeah, ear car. <laughs> Nigga, the shit was gone. That's all I know. Is I went out in the morning. There was no food. It was a rainy night. Somebody really was fucking hungry. That's and I believe I the quote that you blessed me with was, the hood ate that. <laughs> and the hood did swallow all that, man. Uh, Woo. That's a t-shirt in itself. The hood mm -hmm. ain't that. What? Everything it puts its hands on, nigga. That's it. The hood will consume. Yeah, you got to get up out of there if you can. I mean, and give back. Get out and come back and give back. I mean, if that mm. makes sense. Get out, give back, come back, give back. And then get the fuck back out again. Bars. Uh, I mean, politicians say they do it, but I don't know. Keep it at an arm's length. I, I don't know if the mayor of my city is rolling around the hood. She might roll through the hood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> might take that drive through. Right. Like Justin Bieber <laughs> Talk chose to take a drive through the wrong hood, mm -hmm. which is hilarious. Uh, I don't know if you saw the video of his car broke down somewhere in... Um, California. Nice. And um, he was swarmed, not in a... Um, uh, uh, not in an, no, no, <laughs> not in an angry way, but in definitely an exploitive way of... Um, he was in the hood, and, you know, people break down the middle of the hood, man. People look at it, oh, shit, it's Justice Beaver. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> me, which, yeah. listen, Yo, I'm thinking now, Justin Beaver, nigga. this is a um, <laughs> watermelon versus pumpkin. It's, yeah. it's which does not mean white versus black. It's almost uh, trying to understand each other's cultures that we might understand. Mm. Why the fuck can't yeah. black people <laughs> say Bieber? Because it's everybody <laughs> says Justin Bieber. <laughs> like, and Bieber. listen, I'm not a fan. I don't listen to his music, but I've heard his name 5,000 fucking beep, times, beep, 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 beep. just like everyone else has heard his name. Right. And every now and then it sticks where you're just like, yeah, it's Justin Bieber, but... Right. 
the entire uh you know watermelon experience is yo it's just a beaver right like, how do you hey, get listen, how do you fuck it up at all times that's that's because we take control of the language and we make things <laughs> we make it ours <laughs> we make it ours you know, I'm, you know uh know what i mean like do you know what i mean Know what I mean? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we go short shit up. Like now, fuck you, niggas. We go short it up. Oh mm-hmm. nigger. Oh oh yeah. Fuck the er. Throw it away. Give me that, nigga. Listen, Jay Z has been known to put the er on it. Jay Z has said the hard r on hard the n word in hard plenty, hard of, hard. <laughs> plenty of songs. As I've no, always noticed it because it stuck out very strong. But yeah, Justice Beaver was uh, his car broke Justice. down, <laughs> and um. Yo, it was funny because, you know, a bunch of, uh, you know, hood individuals rolled up on him and um, in selfie mode with a, <laughs> oh, shit, yo, white boy, yo, sing yo, that like, shit. I yo, yo, white boy, sing that like, shit. Not a man nigga's going to there to help you. I was like, nope. nigga, you're going to be on my gram. You're going to get me some likes right now, nigga. Hold on. Yep. Nigga. So they got him out in the hood. They made him sing, which is so fucking funny because, like, <laughs> you can tell the entire time he doesn't want to do any of this you shit, but I he's like? afraid of black you people. You know what I like? This is the... uh Blackface reversal mm-hmm. we talk about. He's so took- scared. <laughs> yeah, like, and you could just tell where he's just like, no, no, everything's okay. But he's just so mm. fucking scared. I, so I like tight. the way he felt the way my ancestors did back in the 20s. They had him <laughs> doing push-ups in the middle of the- Yo, white boy, I know you could do push-ups. Do some push-ups. Yo, B, I know you be training out there with that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Training him with Mayweather and shit. Give me some pushes, nigga. You Bro, know, they like, had him out there doing push-ups. They had him oh, out there singing. God. They had him playing basketball. What, what's in California? I think it was in the middle of Inglewood. Yeah. Doing fucking curl ups. The shit was <laughs> the hilarious. Side. Oh, Beaver. Listen, Justice. Uh, Justice Beaver. Oh, my God. I, I mean, did anybody call for uh, a tow truck for the nigga? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sure he, he did, did, but yeah. he just, you know, broke down in the wrong area where like, people were out. He should have stayed in like, his car. Yeah. He should have put the tents up. He would have lost his hood. I mean, but knowing him and knowing he's a celebrity, knowing he, I'm pretty sure it was a fucking nice ass fucking car. Yeah, you know, so that's gonna stick out regardless. And mm-hmm. I don't know. He thought it was smooth rolling through the hood. Like I'm gonna roll through the hood with this. You know what I mean? Niggas yep. see me. They see me out here. <laughs> oh no, nah, nah, I'm out here where they see me. Hold on, hold uh-huh. on. Let me, let me stay in this bitch. You want me to sing for you guys? Baby, baby. Dude, he did. It was fucking funny. Like you could tell. Like I'm doing this so I don't get raped right now. Oh, like he was man. so fucking scared. It was so amazing. Terrible man. And it's so funny because you know. uh I don't know. Being a man that's been through the hood and being in the hood, still in the hood at some point, uh, uh, you, you, you don't have those receptors. I don't in the hood. I don't know. I I, don't, I just kind of people are like oh, this shit is bad. I was like my receptors must be broken, nigga, because I march around this motherfucker and I just kind of take a risk at my own hand. Yeah. I just feel like if a nigga gonna get me, he gonna get me. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I could <laughs> <laughs> serve it up. You know what I mean? It's it's not much you're gonna be able to do about it. You know? Yeah. I mean, if I have my firearm, because I do have a pistol permit, but... Uh, Hold you, the gat like a folded you, map. You, 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 you get the odds even a little bit, but if a nigga got the drop on you, what does that mean? Hold <laughs> a blicky like a black market frozen kidney. <laughs> you, your will be done and down for the count. Yeah, it's right. one of those things, man. If somebody's out to do some harm, and like, right. obviously you don't have enemies like that, so it would be more of a random of like somebody desperate just trying to rob somebody right. type situation. But uh, yeah, man, that's one of those, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Right. Obviously... No, you don't want to do dumb shit like be wearing, you know, expensive fucking jewelry and right. in the middle Calling of the attention hood. to yourself, yeah, jogging yeah. through a certain neighborhood at three, four in the morning. Like, mm-hmm. you know, the people that are out that time are the motherfuckers that are hard for cash. Or like, exactly. no, I'm trying to get high. Or I'm trying to get some money from somebody to get some high. Or yeah. I'm just out here to get do dirt and rob from niggas when nobody's around. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And except for you jogging down that little dark fucking road, yep. <laughs> three, four in the morning in the, in the roughest of neighborhoods. Because it happens here in New Haven. Yeah. We have a trail that runs through one of our... our parts of the neighborhood called Newhallville and you know it's when you probably shouldn't be out there late night but there's a trail that runs along that street mm-hmm. so I don't know uh, that's that bike trail and like yeah, you could you could yes. be on the bike yep. or you could yog it out it's a nice trail don't get me wrong but yep. you're taking a risk at certain parts going through there mm-hmm. it, it will turn into the trail of tears nigga that's all I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> you True. and your family nigga will be holding blankets <laughs> no because I'll tell you man I'm on the uh I'm on a block late night with food Right. And I keep my head on the swivel just Got because, to. man, I know people fucking, they want food just as right. much as they want anything else. So. And somebody might see is like, oh, okay, this is not a familiar face, and it's a, a race that's not normally over here. Maybe he seems like a sweet mm-hmm. victim. I could probably get him. But, but it's but, funny. I, I've had uh, times, too, where I've pulled up to do a delivery late night, mm-hmm. and um, I've had people, yo, what you need? 
Nothing. I need someone to pick And I'm this telling you, th- this dude hopped up with only wearing leather pants. He had nothing else on his body but leather pants. <laughs> no shirt. And I swear he hopped out of the bushes. <laughs> like <the> Birdman? <laughs> looking like looking like Tretch from Naughty by Nature, but at a ninety eight pound frame. Like it was it was ridiculous. Tretch, what happened? <laughs> yeah, just hopped out with leather pants and that was it. It's like, oh. yo, you look you looking for something? Right. But no? I, but I understand the swivel because uh mm-hmm. and as much as I say I'm comfortable in my neighborhood in the hood and I probably shouldn't be sometime as much as I do I get it because when you're not from a when you go into a Greenwich and you're not from out there and you get a little nervous. Yeah. But that's the same thing. You, you, you shouldn't be thinking like, oh God, there's a crooked cop around the corner just waiting for me. I know there's a crooked cop around the corner just yeah. waiting for me. You, you know, that's the same kind of mentality when you go through the hood when you're not from there. Like, oh God, there's somebody gonna rob me. They're gonna rape me. They're gonna rob me. They're gonna rape me in that order. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> just take it, but don't take it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yo, you can take this, but don't take that. Oh, that might be the name of the show right there. Take yeah. this, not that. Take it, but don't take it. Take it, but don't take it. But it's the same concept. You know, yeah. watermelon goes strong through certain neighborhoods. It's like, eh, I don't feel my patches here. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't think my patches wanted here in this farm. I don't know. Um, so I understand the swivel, but yeah. that's an easy swivel. Ten and two, nigga, buckle up. Glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Pass your driving test, yeah, fool. You know I mean? Fuck. And I, I heard that. Interesting with the ten and two. That the new age niggas you gotta change nigga, it. Yeah, right? it's nine and three. I, we're here with it, nigga. It's a rocket ship now. I don't. It's a, it's, it's a bus now, right? Yeah. I. <laughs> it's, it's fucking the magic. School Isn't that bus. funny? How everyone, regardless, like it, it's not like it comes up often, <laughs> but when they're just like, when pretend like you're driving a bus, and everyone will do the exact same thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess when everybody was doing the improv of having a car or a bus, uh, nobody really did ten and two. No. I listen. I'm a twelve o'clock nigga anyway, so I don't know. One. Yeah, I'm just, just one. I'm just here with it. Mm. Uh-huh. All I need is one hand. Sometimes I might grab it at ten and just leave it there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, one hand, but I got a fucked up alignment, so I tend to have to grab <laughs> more. More at eleven right? and just so hold like, it. So, yeah, like, yeah. It's like, what are we doing? It's eleven oh five. I'm there, nigga. You know, get your clocks together. Right. Shout out to the fallback. Let's let's, let's mention a little clock fallback on the clock last week. Wow, I forgot about yeah. that. Oh, daylight That's savings, true. y'all. Uh, we gained an hour this uh, gained an hour week. fallback. Woof. Unless you were at work, you Woof. enjoyed I've it. Seen niggas like, oh yeah, Yo, oh we get another one on the clock. Mm-hmm. Or niggas like, damn, I won't go home. It don't matter because everything you had planned tomorrow arranged itself to your time. Yep. <laughs> and I wasn't at work, but I know my work is fucked up with it. They do the, you don't get paid nine hours that night. You get paid eight. Even when they, you work nine. Because they do the thing where they're just like, well, when you do, you know, when it goes work. ahead, you, you you get it. And it's like, yeah, but you might not be working that shit. I know. You might not be. Yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that when that comes. But right now, you need to pay me for the nine hours my ass right? here or I will leave an hour early. <laughs> yeah, no, that shit isn't cool. But I was out doing Uber, so it mm. was nice, man. Because two o'clock, back to one o'clock, like and I was like, all right, there. man, get get some more one rides, get some there. more money, get some more. Mm. Which, um, it's one of those things where, I guess it was because of farming, mm. but it's it, it is one of those things where it'll probably never change. But we don't need it no more. We, do, we don't <laughs> need it no more. I'm not saying farms. I'm saying daylight savings. Daylight savings. We don't need to uh, pay attention anymore. Nah, we, we just don't need it no more. We just more. know what's happening. Uh, you know, I mean, the whole pitch black at 5 in the morning going on right now, mm. you know, it's like, ooh, or 6. I mean, it gets, now it's, I think it's darker earlier. I mean, later, like, it gets lighter closer to 7 now or something. Yeah. So it's like 6 o'clock when it's usually brighter. It's like, oh, it's a little, a little gloomy right now. Yep. And it gets darker earlier at night. And that's my thing now, like, for the next, you know, until the spring, my life is darkness. Right, so because... Darkness is- I go to work at 3 p.m. and I get out at 11 p.m. So and then I work, you know, all night. So I go mm. to bed at like six in the morning. Yep. It's dark. I wake up at 2 p.m. Go to work for 3 p.m. I got like two hours of daylight. Sunday, right. Five. Then six, that shit yeah, is that's dark right. at five or six. Then it's dark. So man, I'm living in darkness. So, so I gotta hit. The, I gotta hit up the tanning bed. Right. Man, so basically, what he's saying is he's an Alaskan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now I'm you. Yeah, I'm you. Six on six on, six months of darkness. Six, I, which I don't even. I heard that that's not really even. It's like a dusk. Motherfuckers be lying about Alaska. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They said they said it's not really like pitch black for fucking six months. It's like yeah, when it's when it's daytime, it's is very that, it's dusky. The magic hour. It's Sandusky. <laughs> Woo, free him. 
uh, it's Sandusky hour, so it's kind of like, yeah, but it still can make you want to sleep all day. Because I know a nigga like me, you put some dark area in my housing, I'm fucking gone, nigga. I'm, yeah. I'm hibernating, and it's like, yo, what day is it? <laughs> Dude, I remember um, my boy Seth, when we were growing up, man, he had, he had the basement. Mm -hmm. And the basement, there were no windows, no nothing. Dude, I remember, you know, a couple of drunken nights, then sleeping over at his house, and just... You don't, there's no windows, there's no light, no <laughs> nothing. Like, no concept. You don't know how long you've been there. It's amazing. Is but then, a prisoner? <laughs> yeah. It, but, oof, that's some good sleep. That, yeah, it that, is. Uh, then when you I go don't outside, know the light. It's like, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, nigga, with the paleness? For real. But yeah, the daylight savings, it's, mm. uh, I can't say I'm a big fan of it. I like a little bit of sunlight out there. And like I said, just because of my work hours, it, right. uh, it gets rough. Yeah, and then when that getting dark early shit is like, ah, I want a little bit of time. You know, nigga don't want to mm -hmm. feel like it's that dark so quick. Plus, yep. I got night vision. I don't like that shit. Mm, <laughs> I hear you. You know, but I just bear, I grin and bear with the night vision is real, man. I want to try. They got these things. Uh, hit this number up, though. 203 594 6977. Let us know how well you see in the dark. Right. And if you've tried this product that I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, it's supposed to be night vision glasses that you drive with. They're Saturday like, uh, night. <laughs> they're like a very bright uh, yellowish uh, amber tint or some shit. Mm. It's like a yellow tint to them uh, that they're supposed to. Uh, kill the oncoming glare from other lights and shit and the sparkles that you see uh, for people that have night vision you know what i'm talking about there's a certain sparkle that comes from lights that's very blinding i'm yeah. so like a deer when that shit happens and i immediately especially with the newer cars because those the led, LED lights are fucking like what the fuck those is coming are at me? not <laughs> like acceptable you know what i mean like insane. holy shit dude those and Halogen and I swear, me. like, and I know that I go out there sometimes, but follow me on this. <laughs> I swear, and this is how I put it together in my head because I don't know the other reason that anybody would do this. Mm. But let me start with the ending. Let me go Tarantino on Dude, you right now. Sit, nigga. Everybody now drives with their fucking high beams on. And I know that you're talking about those lights, too, and those right. lights are crazy. But everyone drives with their fucking high beams on, and, and I've noticed it more because I'm driving at night doing my thing. Mm. But what I think... I, I I gotta I gotta you know just a uh, this is how I can inkling of a thought yeah this is how I can explain it because people can't be that dumb and I'm like people can't be that much of assholes but I think it's because going back to we never have personal communication anymore with anybody right so I don't think people understand. We, we live in that digital social media world where right. people are just like, well, fuck it, there's no consequences. I'm never going to see that person. It doesn't matter. So just, boom, we ride with high beams forever. <laughs> I might be wrong. And, I, and I'm okay with life. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you because I'm driving. I'm just like, it can't be like six fucking people in a row with just their high beams. I'm right. like, what the fuck is going there's on? There's no way I'm clocking out. Did I die? Yeah. Is that the light? <laughs> but I'll tell you, man, and I have a pretty good record with it. Nine times out of ten, when I flick my high beams on, they'll turn theirs off. Because I'm because at oh, one point, right. I'm just, I don't think they forget me. I think people just, just ride around with them nowadays. Right I think you know people what's are funny? Just like, because fuck it. for my job, late night, I ride around a lot. And I have their ride around and I'm getting ride it. Ride around and I'm splitting it. They have the uh, 2017, 18 brand new uh, Prius, which is that hybrid light. And they have a feature on that vehicle um, where I turn the high beams on when I'm on these really dark back roads because I'm more worried about deer and shit jumping out. Yeah. So I, I hit the high beams, but there's a feature you hit underneath the steering wheel that it has sensors that anytime it senses an oncoming car or something, it turns the high beams off. That's dope. You know what I mean? So high beams go off and it's like they go off and on. So, okay, oncoming car, lights off. It only goes on when there's the sensors. There's nothing in front of it. I mean, those sensors are pretty fucking real, man. It senses yeah. when uh, you know there's like if I'm backing up into traffic, even even though I'm kind of far from it, I'm still beep alerts are going off. Like no, nigga, there's shit going on back. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That the backup camera and I think it even parks itself. I haven't tried that feature yet because mm. I don't need to. <laughs> right. I know because that that that's gonna be a lost art soon of that parallel parking. Yeah, People oh, know how to do God, that shit. it's gonna happen. I mean, cars are doing it. I mean, I'm yep. pretty sure. I think this one has that feature where I kind of want to test it just to see, like, mm. nigga, you gonna really parallel? What's well, it do? What's yeah, it do? Like, I want to I want to pull up uh, immediately to a car in front of the open spot and and, and then yeah, parallel yeah. to him and then hit the parallel park button and see what happens. That'd be dope. If I hit a car, then I'll sue, uh, <laughs> sue Toyota. Sue everybody. <laughs> but, yeah, man, I'm telling you, everybody rides around with their high beams mm -hmm. on. And, like, listen, it's not going to be me, but someday someone's going to pull out the blicky and let it fly. <laughs> it's, pull it's, out. When I come back like Jordan. Four or five. five.
<laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's uh, it's worse than it's ever been. I, I, like I said, I think it's because people don't have pub, uh, personal interaction anymore. Could yeah. be wrong. Don't know. Maybe people are just oblivious assholes and they just uh, personal interaction. Just do it. You know, I mean, people aren't even gonna have sex anymore. Shame on the life. Mm. Like it's just like you want to you want to get up virtual later. You want to virtual later. You want to virtual lay out. You want to virtual. You want to virtual. You want to virtual. <laughs> I got this new uh, memory sensor that grabs around my beach, my my penis. It'll grab around beach. it and, and uh, it leaves it wet and then massages the testes at the same time while I'm looking at you. It's you, but it's not. Like nigga, go to her house. Do the old fashioned way. All right. right. Drop the panties down and like God, the sense of touch. You know. Like I understand a gay woman. There's, yeah, I, I'm a gay woman. I love women. I love the fucking feel of them. <laughs> I'm a gay woman. Might be the fucking name of this podcast. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, aren't we? Don't we all like the same thing? Are we all gay women at the end of the day? <laughs> like it's totally understandable to me at times. Uh, not to say I don't understand the male gay um, uh, genre uh, because it's all brackets. Uh, what I'm saying is, Fucking. being a heterosexual male, I just say, in my opinion, in my vision of understanding the concept of a, a woman, you know, being attracted to a woman, because let's, women, you know, you compliment women, you tell how gorgeous women are, and you get the attraction of a woman and their body and their aura and everything. It's softness. About right, you know, it, it's, so to me, it's like, yeah, I know it's like being a guy, it's like, I don't know, we always like the opposite, like, I, rub a hair chest with a nigga. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't want a rough situation. But then they uh -uh. got, like, well, you get the soft guys. They have guys that pull off the look like a woman, like the nigga shaves mm -hmm. everything, like lifts his cheeks open and shaves his crack. Like, uh, there's nothing sexy about that, niggas. No, I, um, <laughs> me, but niggas like the shit. So y'all niggas sword fight. Do what y'all do. I don't There's care. definitely, I'm on, uh, you know, the dating apps on mm -hmm. uh, social media. Um, and okay, dude, give a shout out. There are people out there that they don't even try to hide it. Like it's <laughs> me with half a wig on, and I'm yeah, just like, yeah. hairy who chest. are you? Hairy chest. I see women with hairy chest. Uh, it's it's funny. I mean, it's, it's hair. It's gonna grow places, women, and it's okay. Uh, right. you, you might have daddy's jeans heavy, where you get hairy. You know, some women out there that like sideburn beard type shit. You know, little 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 sideburn Susie. Listen, I caught my mom's one day from afar, and it was just a light was shining. <laughs> it was little a little a little fucking whisker gleam. Came from her face. Whisker gleam. <laughs> so I was like, look, look at my mom in the sun. Mom, stay still. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know the, the, that little skin pop in the, in the sunlight? Yep. Like, that look like it hurt a little bit. You know, what the fuck are you doing? I'm helping you. Because if, then if I let Saving you walk your around life. like that, it's like, you let me fucking walk around mm -hmm. with a beard here. <laughs> you the one growing it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if you were going that way. Yeah, huh? I, I was going to give you advice of what product to buy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Lotion that bitch up, man. <laughs> Speaking of uh, facial hair, it is, I don't oh, know why yeah. they, they call it Movember, Movember, which I don't understand, but apparently you're supposed to let Something happened? Yeah. Supposed to let I, stuff I, partaked, grow? I partaked in the uh, past couple of years. It's supposed to be the men's awareness towards cancer. Mm. For men, mainly like, uh, you know, your your prostate cancers. You know, the ones that mainly men only get. Uh, so it's so a men awareness, you know. I, I think it's somebody just wanted to follow up with breast cancer. Well, if you got November, we're going to we're gonna have November if you got October. We need one, too. I, right. I don't know. But I did partake. You know, my, uh, my pops did pass away from prostate cancer. So I, I got involved with it a little bit. What you're supposed to do. Uh, which I'm not really doing this year because I'm growing it anyways. So it's, you're supposed to, if you partake in it, uh, office, workplace, they usually do this shit a lot. Um, you Halloween night, you shave all clean, everything, mm. and just let it go for the whole month. Okay. You know, unkempt, untamed, just fucking balls out. Unbridled. You know what I mean? Just ridiculous face for us. And, uh, and, and then you're supposed to, what you're supposed to do when the people do it, you raise awareness of it and... The money you would spend on upkeep for that month mm. is the bare minimum they suggest you would pay towards a cancer research. Ah, oh. that's what it's supposed to be. Like, oh, I pick like me. I go to the barber twice a month. We yep. go every two weeks. Uh, that's fifty. I did twenty five dollars a pop, so that's fifty dollars a month. So I would take fifty and donate it towards a cancer. You know what I mean? Mm. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what the whole thing was about it. But I think it's just like I just want to. I'm gonna take, grow a mustache this right. month. I just want to take a chance to piss my boss off. You know, what right. I mean? like he hates uh, a hairy face, and now I have to tell him, "Well, you, you want me to take this viral? My boss won't let me do a uh, cancer awareness." 
You would never tell a woman to take off her pink bracelet. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> My mustache just went viral. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it off my face. It's getting homicidal. Oh, God help me. That's interesting. So, yeah, man, if you guys are out there doing that, mm -hmm. man, hit us up. Let us know yeah. how your uh, stash is growing. Send a pic. Send a pic of your growth. 5946977. Yo, send us a pic of your growth, B. <laughs> if you send a dick pic, nigga, we fighting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you said my growth. You getting blocked. I thought you said you didn't say girth. <laughs> no, they got in. <laughs> no, no girth, no growth. Girth, no girth, no growth. Well, we got to grow as people. And uh, I mm. thought since we were on Expand that your same, mind. since we were on that same subject of kind of uh, opinions on opposite sex things and things like that, uh, you know, feeling a certain kind of way. And by all means, what I said before, there's no uh, jabs at the gay men. You know, guys, be gay. Who he cares? said no homo. Yeah. <laughs> no homo left behind. It's a program I'm running. <laughs> Well, you niggas can be as open and frolic as you want. <laughs> no uh, homo left behind. <laughs> wow. That might be the name of this. No, it's not the name of this episode. But uh, shout out to Pamela Anderson. I don't know. Pamela Lee Anderson, which I was a fan of her uh, personal home video. Um, she was on Baywatch, actress, beautiful blonde, big breasts, whatever. She's Running got, in slow motion. Right. She's got the ideal of what the guys drooled about, especially in the 80s, blonde, big tits. That was the thing back then. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, big boobies and blondes. Let's she go. She was a, uh, you know, Jessica Rabbit come to life type of right, type. Right, right. Which I always thought she was kind of hot, but I wasn't I wasn't a really big, infatuated titty man. Like, that half of me didn't really come through. Because, you, know, you know, pumpkin, let's be honest, you guys are more of the... Big titties, man. Give mm -hmm. them the and you know, brothers, we like big asses. That's why we mm -hmm. take the big white girls away. But she whatever. was hot. <laughs> she she was really hot. But yeah, to me, it, it it wasn't the same. Like I'll never forget the first time I was in high school. I was on the basketball team, and somebody was like, "Yo, have you seen Britney Spears? Yo, have you seen?" And I was uh, just like, "No, I haven't." And um, I remember I went to the um, to the mall, not not to the mall, to Strawberries, because mm. I was going to buy some music. And I remember I saw her on the thing, and I was like. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, okay, I don't it was say like you didn't fall into the wave of it all. Like, obviously, no, she's not ugly, but I'm good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think Pamela Anderson was way more attractive, but right. yeah, that thing where I was just like, no, no, she's like, well, not with Britney Spears, but with Pamela Anderson, I was definitely like, wow, damn, she's attractive, but it right. wasn't like, oh my god, I can't believe it. Like, oh, it just, give me the lotion, I gotta go. Baywatch is on. Yeah, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't to that. Ordeal. You know I, I mean? definitely, um, you know, it wasn't a planned thing, but if Baywatch was on, I wouldn't turn it off. You know what <laughs> I mean? It was one of those. It's what I, I'm not going to change. Because for me, we'll, we'll get to what Pamela Anderson said and right. did, but I oh. was a Carmen Electra guy. I, I'm Carmen more uh, brunette. Right, brunette. Darker, a little, little olive skin a little bit. Yeah. You know, that, that pale pastry Dude, shit. Dude, and pastry. let me say something right now. <sighs> Carmen Electra Still looks amazing. It yeah, doesn't make some sense. Pictures. I see some pics. I, like, we, I think we sense. mentioned that before that if, if she has going through this cosmetic surgery shit, she's got the right doctor. Hit she's the one, she's the one person that did it right. <laughs> right. Go hit her up, guys. Go check her out. Uh, you know. But it's uh, wild. Even on ninety five, man. I don't know if you've ever seen like now. There's billboards out there for fucking uh, plastic surgery. Really? It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. And it's like cosmetic. This is not like your surgery for like I got. Went through a house fire. <laughs> no, no, no. This exactly. is like, I don't like my nose. Exactly. This is it. Becky, is my nose too big? Right. Should, uh, should right. I get a thinner? I don't know what to do. Listen, I'm about to get this implant. I'm about to get a 14 inch cock. About to get this dick plant. <laughs> you know what I mean? About to get this dick implant 14 inches and just tell her, baby, I'm here. <laughs> Yo, if you uh, ever have a dick plan, hit us up, 203-594-6977. Let us know send us that shit. pic. You know what I mean? Not the other pic, but send us that pic. I'll take a peek. Let me see what you're working with. No homo. No homo. <laughs> oh, man. But hey, listen, that's the real thing with men, you know. It's a, it's why do men do what they do? Like men like beer, football, and we want big dicks. It's, it's, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It's a stamp your ground like big dick, mm -hmm. football, beer. You know what I mean? You know, it's, <laughs> it's just a thing we do. You know, why do women want big asses? I don't know. Why do men girls like men girls? Oh, DMX. Women like, I, I, look, women like big ass. We like big asses, so women want to get them. Mm -hmm. uh, women that lines. We don't like. But you like big dick. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Liar! <laughs> you don't want your man to know because that nigga might be like, you know, what do I gotta do? I'm in here. What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? People I mean, start getting that Jay Z voice. <laughs> what <laughs> I do? It's not big enough. <laughs> Nothing I ever do was big. 
<laughs> Yo, B, <laughs> let me know. Let me know. You don't like them slim and long? Yo, B, <laughs> tell me I'm the biggest. <laughs> It's like you fucking her. She's like, oh, give me that big dick. You liar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. What? She's in she's in character. Nigga, just go with it. Right. Because you're going to tell her, oh, that pussy's so tight. You could be lying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but we know, you know, with women, you have to, they're mentally aroused more, you know, than, yep. than men are more, we're physically stimulated. You know, that's kind of like, ooh, titties ass. <laughs> you mm-hmm. know? Women's like, that nigga ugly as shit, but you heard her, you said that, woo, my coochie dripping. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, you know, so for niggas that got the, the nice wordplay, they get right. <laughs> the guy, the Smooth. littlest dick in the world was like, nigga, I made that shit fall apart by just talking. So I don't even need to work this little motherfucker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it happens. But uh, back to Pamela, big motherfucker, big titties. Uh, was she was, um, I found interesting, a comment she made in an interview she had in uh, 60 Minutes in London or something like that. Yeah, tick, 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 tick. Get there, get there. Um, that she had made a comment about feeling as though the Me Too slash feminist movement can go a bit too much too far. That's this is coming from a woman. Now this is also coming from a woman that's uh, you know, subject to being she's a sex symbol. Right. She's like, you think Pamela Big Titties at you know, she was on yeah, the beach. Yeah. She didn't think people were watching Baywatch to see her marvelous For acting. dialogue. Yeah, right. Come on, man. Let's be honest. Like she's mm-hmm. running around the beach in a bathing suit. Yeah, titties bouncing, running to save people. Of course, and I believe it was Little Kim that said "titty out." Like what? Like, I what? don't give a fuck. <laughs> right. And I believe Pam was living by that creed right. for a little right. while. Right. And so she was just saying, like, you know, some of it is like, you know, you you you're just slamming on guys all the time, and it's kind of like some of it's bullshit. You got to call it mm-hmm. what it is. Not saying all of it, but some of them with that ride the Me Too movement. Some of them are bullshit, man. And, and she's just saying, and she knows she's gonna get a lot of feedback and a lot of drawback. A lot of flack. Yeah, just from saying this shit. And she's like, yeah, it's all right, but it's... You're talking about a woman who gets objectified all the time for yeah. looking... Look, for being the object of fucking desire. And if she's going to back this shit up, you know, it's just like women that attack porn stars when they... Right. Know, look, that's what they decide to do with their bodies. They want to go fuck people for money. That's their choice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why is that offending you? No, <laughs> man, I, I agree with uh, what Pamela said on a certain thing because even with that um, Brett Kavanaugh thing with the whole... I don't know what he did. You know what I mean? I don't I know if dark too. I it, don't it's one of those. There was a up. party in high school or right into college when, when now we're talking about at least 30 years 30 ago. Plus, yeah, this guy's people, man, 20 years old. if by chance that woman was sexually assaulted, of course, that is a horrible thing that nobody would ever want to happen. But then if it didn't happen and everybody who doesn't know what happened there, because I don't know what happened and neither does any other celebrity that's heard the same fucking story that we have right. that where everyone goes, no, 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 he did it. He did it. He did it. Yo, no, you don't know that. You, don't know you know that. what I mean? And you, especially you, because I understand what trauma people might block things out. It, it's, it's a fact that happens, but when the lady accusing him of sexual assault doesn't know where the party is. She doesn't know where the party. Um, she excuse me. She doesn't know where the party was. She doesn't right. know who she went Lack to the party with. She doesn't right. know how she got home. She and once again, sometimes people that have uh, right. gone so traumatic true. things, right. your brain does block it out to to save you from trauma. Right. That or could if you're be. Drunk. <laughs> but even like she exactly, it, you're drunk. But she's saying people were there. People are saying I was not there. There's like. Right. There's so many holes in the story, and once again, if this woman was by chance sexually assaulted, it's a horrible thing, and it sucks. But if na- nowadays it's the whole, and this is with every crime nowadays that's high profile, as soon as you get accused, boom, you're stuck with that for life. life. No matter anybody says anybody sexual accused about, yeah. oh, yeah. well, okay, you, you got accused of rape, so obviously you did it, so right. now now, now we'll you figure know. it out afterwards. Right. And that's, you know a, you know, right. and that's a stain that you right. can't wipe off. Right, and that's a bad stain to carry. I mean, you might not even get a job or anything for that yeah. shit. Weren't you that guy in the media? Yeah, you're all set. Exactly. But you know, what, was dope, what was was interesting and what she had said, uh, she was like, you know, I'm going to get a lot of shit for it. She goes, but, you know, some of it, she's like, you know, my mother always raised me, don't go in a stranger's hotel room. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's like, some, she goes, all she was saying was some of it's common sense. If you mm-hmm. go to his house and the fucking guy's in a bathrobe for a business meeting, maybe you should say, I'll come back later. Exactly. Or maybe you should bring somebody with you. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, or it's, or don't do it. Let's <laughs> meet at a restaurant. Let's right. do it. Like, there's, there's, this of course, and not put yourself in that position. Exactly. You know? And of course, nobody should ever force themselves upon anybody right. else and things like that. Nobody but then there's right. also, you do have to be smart at a certain point. Right. It's like the Dave Chappelle skit where he said, 
if he's in a cop outfit and you run up to him looking for help, yeah, you're going to, you know, right. so there's certain things that are, there's behavior that you don't have to exhibit. And of course, no one ever has the right to touch you if you don't want right. to be touched and, and all that other stuff. there's always situations where somebody was just in the wrong place, wrong time, and maybe you yes. got boxed in with a bad situation. We're mm -hmm. not taking away from those people that that. But like the whole Robin uh, Givens thing, uh, or who was it? The girl from, not the Robin Givens, but the one that was from the Mike Tyson whole the one that he went to jail for. Isn't that, I think it's Robin Givens. No, that was his girl that got up all the money. I forgot the girl. Oh, oh, oh the, the, the actual girl that was in the whole, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't girl, think she was really famous. Right, I mean, her no, name, she wasn't famous, her name but, might be out there, but yeah, right, I don't know. Yeah, her name's out there, but she became famous from that. But that was the whole thing too, is like, he got hit with that rape charge. Yeah. But then it's like, in my mind, it's like the same thing, how, like Pamela's instincts come in, like, why are you going to his fucking hotel room at three in the morning? Yeah. She said he just wants to talk. Get the fuck. Anybody that says, I, I I went to go hang out with this famous boxer who's a millionaire, who's got money, yep. and I look the way I do, I got this fucking gorgeous body, and I know I'm a vixen around the area. Yeah, yeah. And he invites me to his hotel room at 3 in the morning, and I think he just wants a good conversation. Right. Give me a fucking break, man. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, the whole, like, yeah, he shouldn't have to, um, you know, he shouldn't force himself on if that's what happened. Right. But the other thing, too, regret is not rape. That's the other thing, too, that I think is get, gets mixed up a lot of the times, too, because a girl will get banged out and then fucking the next morning wake up like, oh, shit, I, I didn't want to fuck him. And then that. that immediately, she might talk to a girlfriend, she might talk to a guy friend, she might talk to someone with... Especially brrr, if you don't know. If run it up. like, oh, we, yeah, we see y'all going there. Oh, look at you. You and yep. Donald, really? No, he... He took it. Exactly. I didn't I wasn't aware he, he raped me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, whoa. there's even ridiculous stories with um this happened to a college kid where he's drunk, she's drunk, they fuck. Well, she was drunk so she couldn't give consent. Wow. What about what, him? what about him? He, he was, was drunk too. Like right. what the fuck, dude? And wow. and that's and that's where I think she might be going with that Me Too movement where a lot of it's becoming too much in terms of like but now every 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 cry every wolf cry is turned into a, it has to be looked at as a big deal. Well, you know? that and also that's what happened with the Sean Kavanaugh case. No, not Sean Kavanaugh. What, Rob, what's his? Is it Rob? Rob Kavanaugh? The, well, whatever. Who, Kavanaugh. Ka <laughs> Kavanaugh. Whatever his name is. Yeah. Um, the Supreme Court judge. Um, where it came out, where all the celebrity females were like, "Believe her." That's fine if you believe her. But right. then they were trying to turn it into every single it. time that a female says that she's been sexually assaulted, you immediately believe her. Right. And I'm like, whoa. What happened to like That's so actual, dangerous. You know, the actual premise of us having law and this whole thing of being innocent before proven guilty. Yeah. Like, no, not with that shit. That shit is like a nigga got accused of it. You are guilty immediately. Yep. And, oh, we're going to go through the trial. But no, you're guilty right now. You did this shit. Like, he got fucking shats. Died, but, it, and, you know, people lie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I don't think we understand that. Like, no, why would she say that? Why not? Maybe there's money. People will settle out of court for money, man. Yeah, Those yeah. kids that Michael Jackson supposedly did that to, a lot of those kids got money, man. Paid. You know what I mean? The parents look the other way for a little coin. Like, are mm -hmm. you willing to do that? Would I be willing? Like, if I knew Michael Jackson fucking fondled my kid and, and, and molested him and raped him, I sure as hell ain't going to have money to just say, okay, I'll go away now. Yeah, no, yeah, I want his fine. balls on the fucking platter, and I want to smash him with a mallet. Right. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> People just, you know, that's why you know it's bullshit half the time. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, dude, that, like I said, that's such a dangerous precedent with, once again, of course, if anyone really has been sexually assaulted, that's a horrible thing, and whoever did it should be right. tried and put under the jail. But that whole, you just fucking believe it, because everybody knows a girl that was in high school that right. would fucking get too drunk, do something, regret it. Right. Everybody knows a girl like that, and I'm not saying that all women right. are like that, but just that right. whole fucking... one or whatever. Like, yeah. even women hate women right. so for that whole like no you just believe it. every woman knows a lying ass bitch you right. know what i'm saying so <laughs> come on you know damn well bitches be lying sometimes especially when you see this shit you know uh and it's yep. always good when you got a woman on your side when she witnesses another girl that you've been trying to tell her about that been lying about shit and then she witnesses like see what i've been talking about exactly like, i need some validation of understanding do you get it like not everybody is as peachy keen and smooth uh, I didn't believe I said peachy keen because I don't even use that. I don't even know where that came from, pumpkin patch. Right. And my bad for the brain fart. It's Brett Kavanaugh. Is Brett. The, is the Brett. Of Which, not. of course, yeah, that is a horrible fucking, <laughs> like, if, if you do want to just go with uh, pure, yeah, dude, Brett, who's in college, getting too drunk, right. it, like, he's a rich guy, you know, all that other stuff. But, right. dude, they were going in on his character. Now, now to me, Go in on his political views because I hated his political views. Right. But 
You know what you never heard about? His political views. Right. It was, did you know that in college he got into a fight and he threw a bucket of ice at someone? <laughs> He's got anger. Who, human. Who, who gives a shit? <laughs> he was in college and he got into a bar fight and that's why you're saying that he can't be? No, how about don't let him be Supreme Court because he wants to overturn Roe v. Wade and doesn't want to give women right. the right give, to have give, an abortion. Right. Give your, That'd be the issue. Right. Give the real reasons. And yeah. my whole thing is this crazy. It's funny when people do it, it's like, they wait for a moment for to come for with this shit. For a moment like, like this. <laughs> you know, waiting for that. Because not for nothing, the nigga's been in politics. And when he was yeah. running for your local mayor or governor or whatever, these guys don't just come up and become supreme. He's been involved in politics this whole time. Yeah. If you really want to damage his career because you need a justice, you should have went and been got that justice Yeah. back when he was first on. But now, because the stage is bigger, it's mm -hmm. more relevant. You know what I mean? His stage is bigger. Like, oh, I'm going to come out now. Well, yeah. you should have came out when a nigga was just a mayor. <laughs> you exactly. know what I mean? Like, you should have buried him then. No, but you wait for his ass to run for a big one and be like, oh, this is, mm -hmm. oh, he's got more money now. Okay, let's get this popping. That nigga did it to me. Yeah. Yeah, it was back in 71. And not <laughs> just him. I think that it, um, with how Pamela was saying about the Me Too movement, part of that problem is then you get people going, me too, me too, me too, right. when it didn't happen to them. Happen to them. Like the Bill Cosby situation. Listen, <laughs> Bill Cosby's a piece of shit. I feel like he should be in jail forever. But I bet you not all those women got sexually assaulted. You know what I mean? And right. if they did, I am so sorry. And But I do feel like, yes, there's a number of them. It but there was like also everybody. a couple that came out that were proven wrong. Like, no, that didn't happen. You weren't there now at what, that time. What is Some of now, them, for the one that stuck with uh, Bill Cosby, what... What was this the, the sticking point? Do you know what was their hard, their hardcore? Because I always wondered that with those kind of cases that go back thirty years ago, forty. What is your driving force of evidence? You know what I mean? Like you sure as hell didn't keep a stained dress from seventy one. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> it, true. It's, it's like what besides witnesses and hearsay? What do you really have to go on? I hear you. You know that 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 that, 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 that kind of baffles me because you're at that point you're 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 giving this guy a judgment on two different stories, and, and just whatever one you believe. I believe you more, so you're right. Yeah, I and agree. Evidence, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, evidence thing is one thing, but if they're not really proven, all he, he's going to admit to hanging around with her back in 80-something or whatever the year was, and uh, yeah, well, if he just admits to having consensual in this, then they'd be like, well, he's probably lying. You know what I mean? Like, it was consensual. Oh, you admitted having sex with her, so more than likely you did this shit. I guess that's how it goes, you know? I didn't follow that uh, Bill Cosby... Um, he was Too sentenced much. for sexual assault. Assault. Three to ten years in prison for sexual assault. But I agree with you. Yeah, yeah I don't know that? what the... Yeah, it, how did they prove he sexually assaulted? I feel you. I, I never really followed as much as what was your hardcore... Like, I guess if she had... I don't know, were there like a bunch of people that were there and in the room? I was right there. So you sat and watched her being... Right, right. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not sure. Thing. Yeah, same shit. I didn't pay attention too hardcore to the... Um, uh, uh, to the trial because people got lives out here. Right. But we live. I will say Cosby was, dude, he didn't, I feel like, not that he, that, that he wasn't mentally competent to uh, be on trial, but he, when, when you're in that situation where you're on trial for sexual assault and you come out of the fucking courtroom and you see a crowd of people and you get geeked up and you go Fat Albert and you go, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, bro, you, you, he you. He might be a little seen now. He might be losing it, man. I mean, he is about eighty something. Yeah, uh, it's like that nigga might just, you know, when you know, when you got a stack of straws and some start missing after a while, it becomes a little weaker <laughs> foundation. Like this nigga straw house is weak. Look, he right. just that, leaking that, shit out, leaking that, secrets out there. That camel back is strong. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no more straws to break you it. Know what I mean, just like dead. He just leaking everything else. Like, yeah, I, I raped a girl back in '81. What right? did I say? Wait, wait, what? I said I duct taped. No, I said I taped her like aired her. I don't. Dude, that was like <laughs> Quincy Jones, man. When he, he a couple of a months ago, he came out and he was like. Man, you know Michael Jackson stole those songs, right? And it was like, whoa, everyone yeah. like tucked him back. Like, no, well, no, 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 no. He's been known for that, man. He come yeah. out and throw some dirt on a nigga quick. I don't know if it's just relevant because he did that shit to um, who the fuck did he do it to? Uh, Marlon Brando. He said, Marlon oh yeah, Brando about yeah, uh, outed him as being gay. Yeah, him and Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor and yep. Marlon Brando had a thing. He said that he said Richard Pryor was gay. And he aired him out like, yeah, that nigga been dead for how long? Why are you airing out a dead mm -hmm. man? <laughs> but you know what? I think it might be because I watched a documentary on him, um, Quincy. Mm. And, Cute. dude, he's almost died a lot. 
Really? Like, so he's like, fuck in, it, I didn't live. Dude, <laughs> back in like the fuck. 70s, he had a brain aneurysm that Damn. was one of those like 3% of people survived. He survived, but like he couldn't play the trumpet anymore because he couldn't have that pressure on his brain right, anymore. Right. He had a couple of heart issues. Like, he almost died a bunch of times. So I wow. think he's living a different life right, of, right. like, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> I think fuck he's on a different he. life, dude. I'm telling you. I'm telling all you niggas shit. I know it. They going to know it. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, that, and that's, and that, I guess that's what, uh, segueing into Trump and the whole political side. That's what Real he quick, let, let me button up oh. something that, that I just wanted to say about that is, um, with, with the whole Me Too movement. I'm proud of women for coming out and like finally standing up because there, there have been a bunch of women that um have suffered in silence Ooh, bars suffered, in, suffered silence. in silence for for way too long mm-hmm. but the raggedy bitches are ruining it for you <laughs> right. because the, because the me too bitches are the ones that are ruining right. it for you i'm not talking about the movement right i'm talking about the the, the ladies that just that. go oh my god i can get attention for something right now huh me right that's who you should be mad at yeah and that's funny because i mentioned that to somebody one time i was talking to a female friend of mine and uh she was complaining about the cat calling that guys doing you oh yeah. that, whoosh, all that whistling shit. you know and that's like damn that's kind of tough i mean to get it uh you're getting fucking hawked at every day in your life you know, if, especially if you got a, you know, especially if you got a body like that. You know, motherfuckers, is, you know, how motherfuckers are dudes. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, and I was just saying along the sense of that, I said, well, maybe you should really gear your anger towards the women that respond to it. Yeah, yeah. Nobody ever responds to it. That motherfucker, that nigga ain't gonna do it no more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like he's doing it because at some point it worked for him. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. And, Unfortunately, and, right. At some point, it, it he has those that respond to it, and so right. the ones that go with it. So if that's the case, then. Yeah, they opened that window. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean, it's like nobody ever bought a shit sandwich. Not one shit sandwich would ever sell. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I mean? So stop selling shit sandwiches, people. <laughs> Message. Oh, shit. But, uh, yeah, that. No, I totally agree with that, man. You know, women out there, out there being abused. Uh, I say, how I say the attack that if it happened last night, report it this morning. You know what I mean? Exactly. Or fuck it. Report it that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right after the shit happens, report that nigga. You know, mm-hmm. document immediately. That's what I'm going to teach my daughter. Yeah, yeah. Don't let them niggas slide. I don't give a fuck what it is. You, you snitch on all of them niggas. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Never let them try to violate you and 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 convince your mind to think otherwise of why you shouldn't. Fuck that, dude. There's women out there that have done YouTube videos on it. Like, if he don't hit you, he don't love you. Like, don't. Yeah. No let anyone have there. that fucking mind state because exactly that, that's the thing too where no independent not everyone is all the same and, that, and that's like with um women that scream fucking hit me hit me hit me he hit me right yeah. <laughs> you, I, did you, wasn't that a request yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm pretty sure did you not order a turkey and cheese sandwich <laughs> I brought you a turkey and cheese sandwich, and you told me you don't want it now? <laughs> Type of bullshit you push it to the masses. <laughs> so keep your hands to yourself, people. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and you'll be just fine in life, man. For real. Uh, but w- what I was doing that segue is, you know, uh, it's just getting into election day is happening. Actually, today. Election day was. When you see this, it'll be gone. But Two days today, ago. Yeah. Was it two days ago? I thought today, no, well, my, no, it is today, but when they're watching this, it'll be two days ago. <laughs> two days ago, right. So, two days ago, you went out and rocked the vote. Well, yeah, we still say that. <laughs> vote or die. Vote or die. Uh, um, so, and this was for your more government? This is the midterms. Yeah, the midterms. midterms. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is your... It's always for the government. Gover- I meant to say governors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, gover- government? You, you know what the government governors? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to vote on the government this time? <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that. Well, I mean, seeing as we got Trump in there, he's not really government, so I mm. guess that nigga can make it possible. Uh, Bars? I think we fast forward 15, 20 years from now, all our politicians are going to be people that were famous. I wouldn't be surprised. You know what I mean? Like, all our politicians are going to be actors and fucking athletes and, mm-hmm. you know, people that own businesses. And you're, Dude, and I'll you tell know. you something, especially with, um, you know, probably about, how long has Trump been in there? Two-something years? Two-something two two yeah. years yeah. late? But I never thought that voting worked. I never thought right. that voting counted. Right. And then when I saw him win, I was like... Oh shit! It's real. <laughs> like because <laughs> that in, or some numbers were played around with. Because in my thing. humble ope, they wanted Hillary to win, and whoever they is, I don't know. The mass, but the majority, more than likely. They, I, I don't know I about did. that. I voted for. <laughs> I know about like the women did, but I think there were also a ton of people who were just like, 
Yo, not her. Like, there's so many videos of her, right. like, passing out and fainting. And whatever that fucking piece of metal shit was that fell out of her fucking leg, <laughs> I still want to know about. Because nobody talks about that shit anymore when she was, like, about to pass out. Something metal fell out of her leg, and they uh, brought her into a fucking van. What uh, the fuck was the metal in your leg, B? That, that shit was, was crazy. That was the hidden documents from Bugazi. <laughs> but that was my first thing. I, I was just like, holy shit, this works. Because he didn't think he was going to win. No. He had no plans for nothing. He was just bumping up. And I, I remember. So it almost wrote, makes it seem like something had to happen there. I don't know. I don't think so, dude. I think that just so many people were just like, it's not like how everyone was, okay, we got the black guy. All right, now we're going to go with the woman. And everyone's like, yo, she's not the one. Like, right. she's I not think the, the proper. Fucking... I think the proper uh, uh, female candidate would get the job. Exactly. I agree. We done seen Hillary too long. People seen yep. her. And she's been in politics. So, and she rubbed people from, and especially with the Benghazi. So with that thing, how many people are serving in the military? How many of those people's families and wives are like, fuck her? Yeah. Like, you know, might have been personally affected by that. Or they, mm -hmm. that, would, that could have been my husband. That got stranded on her order. You know yep. what I mean? So people are going to weigh heavy. So even those, she lost a lot of the supporters from the troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And shit, you know what I'm saying? That, the whole email server right. shit. All the, you know, if you want to go into the conspiracy right. of the trail of bodies that are behind the Clintons yep. when you talk shit about them. And I'm just saying, I love the Clintons. All of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah We're not saying anything bad. We're not nah, saying anything I like bad. Bill. Don't kill us. No, nah, but it, the thing is just, it is what it is, man. If you're, if yeah. you're, you're doing crooked shit, a lot of most... To my, in my opinion, most fucking politicians are crooked, anyways. You know. What yeah, I mean? I'm not a fan of them, but too. I feel like Trump won because of his brutal honesty. Where they were just right. like, "Yeah, but you said grab her by the pussy." He's like, "Yeah, yeah, no, cool. I'm still running." Like right. <laughs> when, when every never, other, he didn't really deny saying that. Yeah, he yeah. Just like you know, when every other politician, if they find anything on them, they're just like, "Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna run anymore, guys. I'm done. Sorry, bye." Right. And he was just like, ground. yeah, yeah, no, no, that happened, but uh, I'm still Flo running. <laughs> He's a Florida gun law nigga. Stand your ground. Right? <laughs> and, and he did. And that, and, that, and that was when I was saying to somebody, I said, but I said he broke that mold of what your, your typical president is supposed to be like yeah. or run like. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. when he broke it, and then you're dealing with an era now of reality TV, this nigga's a reality show. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, you know, this is a reality show. And he showed how it worked. You know, I'll go to Twitter. I'll show by not hiding anything from the people that's yep. how get them to love me and and that worked and i yeah i think it worked like you i know? said I, i'm not a i don't There's hate no, him and want no, him to die right, but i don't no love him Trump. either right. I, i'm i'm definitely in the middle of like let's see right. what happens because i also think that this presidency is going to help future presidencies where right. people are going to be like hey if we were to run bernie sanders he probably would have won so like let's stop doing this fucking because that came out as reality, where they right. fucking sabotaged Bernie Sanders' run. but And not that he was the best guy either, because he was doing the whole fucking, I'm just like you guys. Yeah, you're a fucking millionaire with four houses. Right. I'm just down. like you. And then, and then he tried to get the potheads, and we're going to legalize. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What that nigga said. <laughs> and, I, and I think that might have helped Trump, too, because when Trump was asked about weed, he's like, yeah, I'll leave it up to the states. Go ahead. Smooth like that. Right. And that's when, up to you guys. I and that's and that's peace. Because people are like, ah, all right. Yeah. Well, and I think he understood, like, yeah, this isn't the hill to well, die Well, there's a certain, I read it to a guy who was explaining to me, there's a certain uh, type of government that is run in certain places and uh, where they give more control to the states to run their own thing. Yep. If that state wants the death penalty, they don't need the blessing from this country. Yeah, you yeah. Know, you know what I mean? Certain things the country will come in on. But majority of their decisions, like you niggas, make you do it. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah, I think we don't that's like, a good idea. You know, I like. You know, that. He's like, he's like, no, we don't like neo Nazis. We don't like people that are pro this and that are, are that come off very negative. But you know, they want to live in their own little small community. Put them the fuck over there. Go. Mm -hmm. Give them a place. That's where you stay at. That's yeah, your yeah. area. You <laughs> exactly. do what you that's do over you there. And you don't have to worry about anybody interacting with anybody because you'll stay in your little zone. Right. You know what I mean? And see how that works when it comes for trading and shit. And you need things that you got to get from the other side. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, and I, and I kind of dug that. I was like, okay, you know, you know if, if you want to be in like, I want to be pro-black, you want to be a pro-black, then there's a community. There's that for you. That exists yeah, yeah. for you. You want to. Everybody but the pedophiles probably should get their own community. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> no, you niggas don't get communities. You know? <laughs> no. Because there's people that believe that shit is normal. But whatever. That's a whole other conversation. Mm. Uh, 
But, you know, it's, it's all the politics. It's all lies at the end of the day to me. Yeah. Uh, no, it's people say what they want to say to get into right. the office and everything changes. Yeah, but also there, on, on that tip, too, I, I feel like people say what they want to say to get in the office. Then sometimes they get in the office and realize, oh, shit, I can't do this. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yes, you plenty of them lie. Before they know what the hell's really exactly. uh, what it's about. But then you get in the presidency and someone's just like, yeah, no, we can't do that, B. Right. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, it's funny, shit. but I, I love Trump shit because that nigga, is, <laughs> he is straight up like, he got a little, listen, he got a little watermelon in him because we do shit like that too. Like, what, nigga? That wasn't me. That was that nigga. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when they press him like, Trump, you said, listen, this is what I was told. I don't know my, my yep. advisor, you know, he'll say an advisor told him that shit and then go fire the nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got me looking like a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. Either that or he just find a nigga to blame. Uh, nah, that nigga did that shit. It wasn't me, cuz. Yeah, I just, like I said, I just hope that what happens is that in the future, this will make all politicians, like, tighten up. You know right. what I mean? And just realize, like, oh, shit, people, it can go the other way. Right, stop lying to us. Because I feel like one of the bad things about Hillary would have been as well of, like, yeah, man, we still run this shit. Who we want to get in gets in every single time. Like, and... Now I think it went the other way, so people are kind of are kind of have to wake up for the next election because mm. that's going to be the most important election ever, in my opinion, is the next one. The next one, because then you're just going to be like, well, we Who's can't next? pull up no bullshit candidate, right. like we, right? And that's if Trump decides to run or not, because right. well, Trump gave we'll some see. hope to some niggas that feel like, man, I didn't think I ever could, but I seen him get it. Yeah, man, yeah, I got a chance. That's why motherfuckers like a Kanye and jumping up like, well, maybe I can. Right? I say dumb shit. Y'all want to vote for me? <laughs> <laughs> True. You know what I'm saying? So. Yo, and we say dumb shit, and that's why we love that you listen to mm -hmm. us, man. Episode 45 of the Watermelon vs. Pumpkin Podcast. Hit this hotline once again, 203-594-6977. We appreciate you joining us. Episode 45, because we come back like Jordan, Jordan win the moment. Shout out to AC Green's Jerry Kills. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and shout out to Cecil Fielder. Cecil. Big man hitting mm. the dingers. Yeah, no steroids, just country cornbread. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. So, yeah, man, hit up watermelonversuspumpkin.com. That's watermelonvspumpkin.com. GBI clothing. Grab those T-shirts. Support. Grab the socks. Grab whatever. Uh, grab the mugs. I'll put the mug on them. Mug for the mug. And uh, everything else, man, please support us. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Mm -hmm. You know what it is. Little mattress on everything. Watermelonvspumpkin.com. Watermelonvspumpkin on everything. Everything. And I am young pastry. Why you ng pastry? I don't understand why. And at the end of the day. It's always the beginning of the night. And all of you niggas sit comfortably in my soul. I swear to God. Mm. Okinawa! <laughs> Shout out to Japan. <laughs>